Hi everybody, it's Pastor Dave here with another children's service for you. And I'm doing it alone today because all my friends are still on their holiday break. But I am glad that you are here and I'm here and we're going to hear a wonderful story about how God loves all of us, even people we wouldn't expect. So let's read that now. This story is about Philip, who is a follower of Jesus, who meets a stranger on a road from another country, and let's hear what happened. Philip loved Jesus. He tried to act like Jesus would. Every day, Philip fed people who were poor and helped people who were sick. One day, God sent an angel to Philip. The angel told Philip to travel on a hot, dry road and share God's love along the way. So Philip set out along the road. It sure is hot and dry out, thought Philip. Then Philip looked up and was surprised. He saw a man from Ethiopia sitting in a chariot and reading a scroll. One of the horses was tired, so the chariot had stopped. Philip knew he had a chance to do the job God had given him. He ran up to the chariot and said hello. The man invited him to sit next to him. I see you're reading a scroll, said Philip. Yes, it's a scroll with words of the prophet Isaiah, but I don't really understand it, the Ethiopian man said. They took turns reading the scroll out loud. Philip talked about Jesus and explained what the scroll said. Soon the horse felt rested and ready to trot. Philip stayed in the chariot. It was a bouncy ride. The man from Ethiopia bumped into Philip as he said, Tell me more about Jesus. Philip told him, Jesus was the Son of God. He came to the earth and saved us. The Ethiopian man was so amazed that he wanted to be baptized. But where could they find some water for baptism on that hot, dry road? The surprises just kept on coming that day. Philip and the man found a pool of water. Philip baptized the man, and God's love filled the man's heart. The man told Philip that he would share the good news about Jesus with everyone. Philip was happy to serve God. God loves you. God loves me. God loves everybody. Hmm, I'm not sure if that's good or not, but it's the best I can do for now. Oh, who are you? I'm an alligator. I could see that, but what's your name? My name is Bob. Bob? Well, hi, Bob. I'm Jimmy Joe, but you can call me JJ. Awesome. I'm pleased to meet you, JJ. Well, I'm pleased to meet you. What were you singing about? Well, I was singing about God. <gasps> God? I've heard of him. He's like big, right? Yeah, pretty big. And scary. Well, not really scary. Well, I guess he can be sometimes, but mostly God loves us. Oh, what's wrong? Well, I know that God loves you because you're an owl and you're all wise and smart and you can sing good, but I'm an alligator and God could never love me. Well, why not? Well, because I don't come from the same place you come from. Well, that's okay. God's as big as the universe. God can love people from the swamp as well as the forest. Yeah, but I don't have pretty feathers like you do. My skin's all dry and scaly, and no matter how much lotion I put on it, it never gets better. That's okay. God loves all kinds of people. Scaly people and feathered people and skinny people and people who ate too much Christmas fudge. It just doesn't matter. God loves all of us. <sighs> what? What's wrong? Well, it's just that, well, I almost don't want to say it, but I haven't exactly been perfect. I mean, I know you owls are wise and you always do good things and I've made mistakes. Hopefully not big ones, but still, 
I don't think God could love me because I can't be good enough like you. Ah, I'm not good enough. Once I got a 97% on the test instead of 100. Shame, shame, shame. Oh, I've been a lot worse than that, though. 92%? Lower. 88%? Lower. Did you get a C plus? A C minus. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Wait, wait, wait. Listen. God loves people who get C's and D's, even people who get... <gasps> no. Yeah, I once had a cousin who got a... And God still loves him. You're kidding. Well, if God loves him, God could probably love me too. Yeah, it's not about how good you are. If you were perfect, you wouldn't need God to love you anyway because you'd be perfect. But God came to love all the people who aren't perfect and all the people from here and there, all the people everywhere. So we don't try to be perfect for God or each other. We just say that God loves you and God loves me, and God loves everybody. And it's awesome. Wow, that's so cool. Hey, wait, I have a cousin crocodile. Do you suppose God loves him too? Yep, and how about my Aunt Griselda? She's half moose. Yes, absolutely, mooses and mices and everybody. God loves us all. Awesome! I'm gonna go tell him and then we'll have a big God Loves Us party with Christmas fudge. Yes, exactly! Yay! See you later. Bye-bye. Wow, that's so cool. God loves us all. I'm going to tell everybody and I'm gonna love them too. How about you? God loves you and God loves me. Now let's go share that with everybody. Bye. Now we're going to pray together to thank God for loving all of us. I'll start each line and you can pray it after me. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving all of us for loving the people we think of as friends, for loving people who are strangers to us, for loving all your children across the world. Help us to love people just like you do. And all God's children say, Amen. We hope you enjoyed that story and we hope your new year is going great. We will see you again next week with more puppets, more stories, and more fun. And may God be with you this week and all your days be filled with love. <laughs>